and welcome back to Shacked Art Glory, episode 42. Um, this is the first European game of this new third season. Uh, we did see the draw in the last episode. Um, I am aware that that, having just sort of edited that episode and um, uploaded it as well, um, it was quite a long one, so I'm going to try and keep this one a bit more brief. Uh, so we last time out we did play uh, Dynamo Kiev in the league. Had to think for a second then. So we have a look uh, at what we've done since. So that game we won 4-0. Uh, quite a convincing result. Uh, Patrick for Vizeo and Ischenko getting one as well. Uh, since then we've kept the unbeaten run going for this, into this season. From last season obviously. Uh, we played Vorsko, we won 2-0. Uh, Rodrigo getting two goals. And then we beat Capati 1-0. Uh, we have Rodrigo again. says two here. No, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong game. Uh with uh, Romero getting the goal in that game. We didn't play particularly well in that game. And we, if you actually see, we, we scored the 95th minute. So, n really not convincing, but we weren't going to lose the game. We were all over them. We should have won by more, but we weren't great. The finishing was terrible. And as you can see, we've got Inter Milan today. Uh, we're going to need a lot better finishing than that if we're going to, um, well, A, get out of this group, start off with a bang, and obviously keep this season's unbeaten run going. Obviously, last year we had an invincible league season, but we still lost in, obviously, the Champions League. I think we lost in the Cup, and I think we lost the, Ch the Charity Shield, Community Shield as well. So, it was just a league where we, we were, you know, pretty dominant. If we can keep that, them green spots, or even the yellow, a couple of yellow ones, going as much longer as possible, I'll be very happy. Especially away against Inter, it's not going to be an easy task. Um, the other real sort of bit of... Um, side thing I want to talk about is I mentioned in the last couple of episodes about trying to make some kits uh, to put into the game I have done that um, but for whatever reason they're not showing either in the 2d screen here they may show in the game I don't know yet I haven't because I literally got to this stage uh, the Inter Milan game I played the other games I got to here and then I started creating them started putting them in um, I've tried having a look but I can't see any proof that they're there working um, I've had lots of assistants, um, Bood FM stepped in, uh, Mozza Gaming has stepped in, and uh, FMU TV uh, have tried to help me today as well. Can't see anything wrong as to why they wouldn't be working. All I can assume is perhaps it's my laptop that's not letting it work, um, or something like that. Maybe, maybe perhaps even there's something in the Ukrainian League or uh, in the competitions or something that's just blocking it from overwriting the work. I'm not too sure. Um, so we're you can see the normal kits here, but what I'll do um, as we're talking here, I'm going to sort of flash them up. I did a, um, a home kit, which is kind of modelled on this one here, sort of semi with the, the colours and the black, the orange and the gold, uh, orange and the black rather. Uh, the away kit, uh, which you're seeing already if you or see shortly, is modelled on the old 90s Fiorentina uh, kit, which was the purple with the Nintendo logo. They've all got the Nintendo logo. Uh, apart from the third kit, which I'd done as a Donbass Arena. Uh, memorial kit so that was gold uh, I think with some black and I changed the sponsor on them all to be added as kits as well uh, so we'll see if they do pop up in game um, away here we may well see the Fiorentina kit because I think the home kit with the extra, all the black may clash with Inter but we'll see on that uh, but without further ado I think we're going to get into the game this is the formation we're going with in the league we have been rolling out with our three up front still uh, I do want to try and play this one a bit more in the league, maybe just to get a, a bit of uh, f more familiarity. I mean, it's pretty good up there, but getting the players used to it a lot more and playing with it. But we've got kind of the usual squad, really. I don't really need to... The only sort of new addition there this season is Lukacevic at right back. Butko hasn't quite uh, recovered in time. He's not even on the bench today. Um, apologies for my voice. I seem to be a little bit bunged up today. I'm not too sure why. Um, but we'll get into the game. Uh, see who we've got. So Fenerbahce in our group with against Atletico Madrid. So hopefully Fenerbahce can nick a point off them or something. And if we can maybe do the same here, uh, we'll be li really looking for our home form to. So we can see the inter kit is working, but R1 hasn't picked up there. Again, like it wouldn't in the club screen. So I'm not too sure if it is going to work in game. We're in excellent form. Uh, Icardi is doing all right for them this year Spalletti is the manager okay so here we are so we can see Inter Milan are playing the same system as us or what we started with before we um, edited it out a little bit and dropped the attacking midfielder for the defensive midfielder 
even he Ivan Andre Ivan. He's had a good city. Oh, he did well last year, but that was in the Russian league. Hasn't quite looked like he's jumped in first to you know amazingly in the uh, telling league just yet. They got Taliska, I think, from Galatasaray, a Besiktas. Uh, again, not really doing great. Kandreva still there. Icardi there. Yeah, Mario Gagliardini, is he? No, he's been there a couple of years. And Chris Guito, he played for Zenit, I believe, at one point, didn't he? Yeah. But he's been at Inter for a little while now. Uh, Juan Fran was at Atletico Madrid, I'm, I think. Must be a recent addition. Yep. Don't know him, but I think he is there currently. Yep. And Josue. Hmm. And Elect signing this season. He's doing all right. And Handanovic still in goal. On the bench, they've got Barbosa, Dalbert, Guedes. Good bench as well. But we'll be hoping we can... Uh, oh, Malashev really is struggling. And Paulinho. Malashev was the other one who was lacking fitness, which I can understand he hasn't really played this season either. Uh, we'll try and encourage. We'll let the assistant do Kick that. Kick off the game here, shooting left to right in our orange kit. We'll see when it gets to the, high, uh, the 3D highlights if the kit has taken shape. It won't show at the top there. Um, but the game's... We do have the first highlight here, hopefully. As long as I don't win it back. We're knocking it around really nicely. Konoplyanko needed a lot more from him this season. Uh, he was very poor. And Paulinho gives us an early lead. Eight minutes in, first first real highlight. And we are dominating the possession, as we would expect, the way we're set up. But still, to go and do it against this Inter Milan team, who I meant to check how they were doing in the league. We'll have a look at half-time, maybe. He should do better, really. But we're playing well. Not a lot is happening in the game. Only been that one shot after 15 minutes and it has ended up in the goal for us. Atletico Madrid have taken the lead, unsurprisingly. Diego Costa after 21 minutes, which drops us down to second, just on alphabetical. Uh, scenario there, they do have a corner. And, well, it's not their first shot, but it's the first highlight, certainly. And from the corner, their defender, who he looked at, he scores the goal and... After 35 minutes, it's. I meant to check, I didn't even look at the highlights of the goals then to see if the kit had taken shape. There's another highlight here. Handanovic has it in his hands. He boots it up. Icardi somehow drops deep and somehow wins it because he's not the best in the air. And he scored. Two goals in a couple of minutes. And I mean, that is shocking defending. I mean, look, we're just being run ragged there. How many players we had around? And our goalkeeper is, hasn't really covered himself in glory either there, has he? Much like Kandanovic for there, for our goal. No, I'm gonna, I'm not going to agree with the... Um, the keeper's not happy. We'll try and turn him around. Turned him around, I think. So, everyone looks fired up. Ready to go for this second half. Hopefully that... Blasting at half time as will do something again. Look, you cannot, cannot play anchor 6.1. I mean, Romero's not in a great game, he's not had the best season to be honest. Um, it might be time to think about what we might do. Malashev isn't playing well, he's obviously unfit. We'll bring Barco in, we'll bring him forward. We'll try and get on the front foot a little bit here, put him on an attack roll, and we will put. Uh, what we're we going to do here, we're going to take Romero off. We're going to bring on Barakia, I think. And we might bring on Rodrigo for Konoplyanka. Rodrigo's had a quite a good start to the season overall. Three subs after an hour is a bit bit dangerous. We win the ball, Polino. Polino's had a good start as well, which is why I've sort of given him the, the nod on the right-hand side. We haven't really got a, a great right-sided... Uh, midfielder, winger, if you like. That's what I was trying to get in the market for this summer. Uh, couldn't really find one that was that decent. We did get one good young player who might have worked the backup, perhaps, but he's gone out on loan since. Uh, but I'm just hoping that we can step up here. And Barakie, straight off the bench. Why do I not play this guy more? And we're back into 2-2. Two -two. And we've got the... Looking like we're going to get a point here, but we are looking like we're on a bit of an ascendancy here. We're looking a bit like the better team. Barco is... Well, that's a bad tackle from them. And it slides Barakke through. And 
he's not going to miss from there. And we're back on back on level terms, and hopefully we can push on from here. And what we might do here, do a quick shout, and we're going to encourage. Oh, we've been beating him behind here. Oh. Icardi is just... <clears throat> what do you say about that? Is, I mean, he shouldn't be winning... Tilisco should not be winning that ball. And then, how is Icardi just left on his own with two people around him? Again, it doesn't look like my kit has taken. I've just seen on that replay, replay there. And the encourage thing comes up now. But we're on the attack again. Mario is injured. And I thought Barack had instant replied then. Go overload. See if that... I mean, at this stage, we might as well lose 4-2, trying to get a 3-3, you know. Oh, and he's through again. Icardi again. Is that four goals for Icardi in this game? Possibly possibly a hat-trick at least. We're down to fourth. I mean, we're not even third now. <laughs> we get The goal difference is getting done. Barbosa comes off. The, he's offside. And it's not been given. Oh, that's really disappointing. We had a start a bit similar to this last season, didn't we? I think it was Porto. We had a bit of a biggish loss too, but we managed to regroup and made the home games count. Can we do something? Rodrigo gets one back for free. Game on. We're having more shots. They've had four shots on target and they scored four goals. out of six shots as well. Barakke, I mean, he squares it and Rodrigo should score that first time. He hits the, I mean, he should shoot first time. He hits the post, but that finish on that second attempt... Great finish. We're going to skip the highlight there. Just mindful of this this episode being as long as the last one. Don't want it to be too bad. We're up to third. Looks like this is just going to... Time's just going to fade out to a bit disappointing. We've lost 4-3 there. Uh, we went, what, 1-0 up. Down to 2-1. Back to 2-all. Two, 4-2. Two all, four, four, and then f clawed one back to 4-3. But we couldn't just quite get there. Leo as well is becoming quite a pivotal player. He had a bit of a tough start to his Shakhtar career but last year he as the season went on he became a lot more a lot better and you can see his rating just really picked up he only played 14 games for us last year I think we did rotate in the league a fair bit he's already got six games this season one assist uh, quite a good rec rating as well uh, we've obviously got Sol I, can't, I can't pronounce his name uh, as the backup left back this year we'll, we'll say that so what we'll do we've got the Zerka game next I think I think we've got two games what we need to do though is next game or next home should be a home game next it is against Fenerbahce we need to make sure that is a winning start if we get straight to Fenerbahce I'll go straight to Fenerbahce if I can, if I need to get Alexandria in just to have an episode recorded possibly then I may go that route but we'll keep it as a bit of a lottery until then so until then I will see you later